patriarchs of the Old Testament. These great men of faith that played a, a huge role in the, in the Old Testament and in especially the book of Genesis. They serve to help us to see Jesus. They are, are types of Christ. They, they help to point us to Jesus. They help us to see who he is and to talk about the work of Christ for us in different ways. They help us to both see what Christ has done for us and to confess that work that he has done to other people. In different ways, in different means, Jesus does different things all through his cross. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at Abraham. Abraham was the defining prophet of the Jewish people and of the nation of Israel. That what was most important for a Jew was that they were able to track their lineage, their heritage, their family line back to Abraham. If they were a child of Abraham, then they could know that they were one of God's people. Abraham was made a promise by God. God promised Abraham that he would have as many offspring as stars in the heavens if he could count them. That through Abraham, all the nations of the world would be blessed. The whole of the earth would be blessed through him because it is through him that Christ comes. Jesus is an offspring of Abraham, but Jesus brings about his own offspring. The children of God. To be a child of Christ is to de be defined as one of God's people. To be made, to be born again, born from above anew by water and the word, by the promise of God in holy baptism. There, we are God's children now. Jesus redefines, he makes even greater the definition of what it means to be a child of Abraham. Not by blood, not by lineage or ethnicity, not by family tree and line, but by faith. By faith, all nations are made children of God, children of Abraham, children of Christ. We are made his. We belong to God, our Father, and it is in him, in our baptism, that we find our identity as those who belong to Christ, the crucified and risen one who promises forgiveness and eternal life to you and all of his children. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.